What's up guys, thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I have an unexpected update to Snickerstream that has a ton of new features, but the one that I am most excited about is the FPS limiter. Now a while ago I had a comment asking me if I could add an FPS limiter to KitKat Slim, and me not being a programmer, I have zero knowledge on how to even do such a thing. Luckily the dev of Snickerstream known as Rattletrap PM has made this epic update with an FPS limiter added. This limiter isn't enabled by default, so I'm going to show you how to enable this feature to get a steady 30 frames per second for when you are streaming gameplay to Twitch or YouTube and don't want the frames jumping all over the place. With this new update, Rattle has basically killed KitKat Slim, so on that sad note, press F for respect and let's get this started. We're over here on the Snickerstream GitHub repository, and as you can see, the unexpected update was released about three days ago. Now, if you want to download this, grab the x64 version for your 64-bit version of Windows or x86 for your 32-bit. Real quick, I'm going to run over the new features and then let's try out this FPS limiter. Snickerstream will now try to allow itself through the Windows firewall if ran as administrator. Now this is going to come in handy for a lot of people that can't get the gameplay to show up on their PC and it happens to be some sort of firewall issue. A lot of times disabling Windows firewall doesn't even fix this issue, so hopefully allowing it through the firewall will allow you to stream your gameplay. An update warner has been added and is going to go ahead and check for new versions as soon as Snickerstream has been started, so that's pretty cool. Auto disconnect feature, Snickerstream will now automatically return to the connection window if the 3DS disconnects. So if six seconds passes without the 3DS sending any frames to the PC, then it's going to go ahead and boot you back to the connection window. Last one is the frame limiter, which as I mentioned is disabled by default. It's super easy to add this to the config any file for Snickerstream, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that in Notepad in just a second. Last thing is one of the improvements and bug fixes I want to go over is the screenshots. Now if you press the S key while you're playing a game then Snickerstream will take a screenshot of your gameplay and here as you can see it will now capture only the Windows content so not the title bar or the border and it will hide the mouse cursor. A couple other things you could read over here if you want but I'm going to go ahead and download the x64 version and I'll meet you guys down our downloads. We're here in the downloads. I'm going to go ahead and right click snickerstream.zip and use 7-zip to extract it to here. Now this is going to give you a readme.md, a license.txt, as well as snickerstream.exe. Now we need to get the settings.any file to appear, so we need to open up snickerstream one time and then go ahead and close it. So as you can see here is the settings.any. I'm going to go ahead and right click it and open it up with notepad. Now it's going to appear like this, nice and simple. Real quick, you can enter in your 3DS's IP address if you want it to permanently be in here as I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now what you need to do is go down to the very bottom, hit the enter button and type in capital F and then frame limit and then equals and whatever frame you want to limit it to. So I want 30 frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 30. Now, if you happen to only get something like between 25 and 30 frames per second, then you might want to limit it to say 25, just to make sure that it's nice and steady, because you're not likely to hit the high end of that FPS if you're ranging between 25 and 30. Now me on my computer, I get anywhere from 30 to 40 FPS while streaming, so hopefully 30 FPS will run nice and steady for me. Now that you've done this, go ahead and save it and then exit out of it and open up snickerstream.exe. I've got snickerstream back opened up here. My IP address is entered in nice and neatly. Now if you're playing a top screen heavy game, you're probably going to want to use top screen. I'm going to be playing Mario Kart 7, so I definitely want to leave that there. Now screen layout, you can go ahead and change this. This is stacks the two screens on top of each other. You could also go side by side with horizontal or even top screen only. Just a note, if you choose top screen only, you're going to want to change priority factor here to zero, and this is going to put all the priority to the top screen. Although I do get some weird results when I do this, so I am not recommending it at the moment, but go ahead and try it out and see what your results are. So I'm going to go ahead and change the screen layout to vertical, just where it was before, and then down here, mess with your presets to try to get the highest frame rate possible. So I'm going to go ahead and use best frame rate preset. Now first, I'm going to need to launch NT our custom firmware on my 3DS, but I have already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. And as you can see, Snickerstream is now starting the remote play. Some funny colors just flashed across my screen. And the next thing I know, I'm playing Mario Kart 7. Now, as you can see up in the top bar here, it says 30 FPS on the right and 33 on the left. So I'm actually sending 33 to Snickerstream, but it's going ahead and limiting screen one to 30 FPS. 
So that is pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and launch into the game and play a little bit and we'll see if it stays at 30 FPS. A quick note, don't forget you can press up on your keyboard and this is going to go ahead and make Snickers stream bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and just blow it up a little bit so you guys have a little bit better view. I've launched into a race here. I'm on the Mario circuit and as you can see on the top of Snickers stream, I'm at a steady 30 frames per second on screen one. So I'm going to go ahead and just race a little bit and we'll see if it jumps around or drops it all. Now, as you can see right there, it is now at 29, so I must not be sending quite enough frames for it to limit it to 30. So at the moment, you know, it's still running ridiculously smooth and looks really, really great, but it seems to be I'm stuck at 29 frames per second as opposed to the 30. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, there we go, it jumped back up, but it definitely seems like I could benefit from maybe limiting my screen frame rate to maybe 28. Oh, speak of the devil, I'm now at 30. Uh, it seems to be jumping between the two. Regardless, it's still pretty steady. I'm not jumping all the way up to like 38 and all the way down to 25. I seem to be staying quite, quite around 30. And the gameplay on the top screen actually looks great. Now on Mario Kart, whenever you're streaming, the bottom map always looks absolutely awful unless you set the priority factor to two. Now setting the priority factor to two might not allow you to get the same frame rate that you were getting before, so that's why I haven't done it. So I'm just kind of ignoring the bottom screen at the moment, so you guys could do that too. <laughs> Uh, I dropped down to 28 FPS there. So as again, I'm saying I'm not quite reaching a max amount of FPS. If I was closer to sending 35 frames per second over to the PC, then it's likely I would have a better time being limited to 30 frames per second. Although Snickerstream is just kind of compensating a little bit. It's saying, hey man, you're not sending enough frames to us. We're trying 30 frames per second, but we can't quite do it. Regardless, this update is super awesome and it really, really seems to increase the smoothness of the gameplay. There is absolutely no jumping and going around and wow, it just looks absolutely great. Well, I think I just said the same thing over and over again while I was racing there, but as you can see, I managed to come in first place while playing on my PC screen, so I think this is working quite well. We never dropped much below 28 frames per second, and we're steady at 30 at the moment. If you guys like this epic update to Snickerstream, I want you to go down to the comments and tell me that KitKat Slim is dead and that I should only be using Snickerstream from now on. Also, if you wanted to give the video a like, that would be pretty epic. And if you wanted to share it with some of your friends, hey, you could do that as well. If you guys want to subscribe for more, there's tons more coming in the near future. We do Wii U, we do 3DS, we got Switch news, hacks, everything. You're going to find it here on Gaming Canada. So I'll catch you guys next time. Much love. Peace.